Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some Anno 2205. This is the newest version of Anno, published uh, by Ubisoft and developed by a company called Blue Byte, who also made, of course, Anno 2070. And it goes live uh, tomorrow. That would be November 3rd, 2015. Now, we get to play today early. I'm going to be streaming this a little bit um, in a couple hours as well, but this video will go live at the moment it's allowed. Um, I've only spent maybe about an hour or so playing the game. Let's just dive in. We're gonna see what's new, what's different, and go from there. So we'll start the game. I've accepted my invitation. Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Supervisor of the Lunar Licensing Program. We have a lot to discuss. But first, I'd like to introduce you to your artificial data amalgamating messenger. Okay. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Okay. So it's good to know that in the Officially, only mega corporations are allowed in the program. But I personally took a stand for you. Great. Thanks, but I need to see your corporate logo as well, for identification purposes. All right, let's, uh, we'll be the eagle. My superiors at the Global Union had reservations about you, but I've convinced them. That's nice. They even decided to allocate you high-grade territory for new corporate headquarters. Choose a sector. All right, so I've only played a very small amount. I'm not really sure, like, which starting sector is really optimal. You know, the size is obviously going to be the amount of buildable space you have. Um, this game has kind of like resource nodes, so a mountain building site is necessary to build certain buildings that require mountain building sites. Same thing with coastal building sites. So, the very brief amount of experience that I've said, um, I have. I I'm going to go with the first option, just because probably they intend you to choose it. But also, it's got, you know, 17 and 24. It's more averaged out a bit, which seems good for me. So we'll do that. Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union. Funding mm. conditions and the like. Hmm. Let's go for expert. You are now entering phase one of the Lunar Licensing Program. The Global Union assigned you territory in Earth's temperate region to establish a spaceport and a base of operations. The construction of a space elevator to Global Union headquarters is also required. Mm -hmm. For further instructions, speak to your official contact person. Global Union wishes you success. <laughs> so it's the year 2205 and we still have robot voices that Wide sound like robots. And, towering <laughs> mountains. and soon you will add an impressive skyline to the picture. Mm -hmm. But stay attentive. I was informed a Big Five company has been monitoring the ruined dam for quite some time now. This could turn out beneficial for you at some point, but your prime objective is to raise a spaceport here. Okay. Alright, so if you're completely unfamiliar with Anno Games... The spaceport building site off the coast is still unstaffed, but as soon as you've built the necessary housing, your construction team will be moving in. If you're completely unfamiliar with Anno Games, um, it's it's like a, a city building manager thing where you need to kind of build things in the right proportions to make optimal I know upgrades a lot of things to, keep to your mind, your citizens. But Adam essentially, compiled you a database where you can access all the information you need. Thank you, Adam. All right, so our our initial goal is attract a population of workers, build a residence, and connect it to the warehouse. So this is our warehouse. This is like our our main thing, the distribution center. Provides us with 50 workforce, 30 energy, and 50 logistic trucks. We have 28 uh, biopolymers, which we can use to build stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to build a road, like, straight out. You know, just go out as far as we can, I guess. And then we'll start creating some side streets. We will build a residence. Let's go with 10. Someone call for some workers. New blueprints ready for implementation. Every single building needs to be connected to a road in order to function. Otherwise, you get a little indicator. It looks kind of like, uh, let's see. Looks like. New blueprints ready oh. for implementation. There we go. 
So if you don't have a road, you just have to connect a road. They're very cheap. So there's our 25 houses. Um, we need a rice farm now. So, basic thing is here. We've got basic workers. These things... Here, I guess. You know, nothing fancy. <laughs> nothing fancy. It uh, provides us with inhabitants, which provides workforce. It also generates revenue, um, which you use to build things. Your construction um, crew is one of the first ready. Keep up the yeah, pace. Yeah, we're the Your best. competitors will try to catch up. Will they? For the next construction stage, you'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Make sure to adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. Mm-hmm. All right, so a rice farm is just going to provide organic food. And what we can do is the V key shows us... Uh, right now we have... 17 organic food in supply. We're consuming three. Um, so that means that we're trending downward on our organic food. We should build something. Unfulfilled demand for specific commodities. That's what he's saying. Uh, so we'll place some rice farms. Now this thing is really convenient. We actually don't have any biopolymer though, so we can't build it just yet. There are random little goody drops occasionally that you can just click on to get extra stuff. I'm wondering if maybe we find one more of those. And if not, then we'll just do this thing. Biopolymer factory produces 10 biopolymers Per minute consumes bioresin. Bioresin sunflower farm produces one to one. So there's our first little ratio. So we'll build one of those. And we'll build a biopolymer thing. And so now when we press V, we can see that we actually have plus 10 biopolymers per minute. So now that those are coming in, we can now build our rice farm. And one thing I really like about this game so far is that you don't have to worry about, like, misplacing objects. You can just, uh, press the M key and just move things around. I don't really know how the technology works, but it works. It's pretty cool. Doesn't seem to be any cost to it either. At least not that I've seen. Uh, 43, 3, 2, 5. Let's see if this costs us any money. No, well, it didn't cost us a penny. Very nice. All right. I've, it's, it's already skipped the first one, and it didn't. I didn't actually do all the right things. Um, what we need to do now is just get more workers, build and connect an info dome. We also need some water. So this is the one of the coastal building sites. You need this desalination plant. These days, it's the only way to come by drinkable water. So we're good on food and good on water. We're making biopolymers. Uh, we need our info dome. To build the info dome, we need to have the 200 workers, so we're just going to build more houses. And what's really convenient here as well is you can just click C, click on any building, and it samples it, and you can just build more of it. You can do the same thing with roads. So the user interface, I have to say, is, is pretty awesome. Your global market share has increased. I think we want more of these. Now we're having power issues. Energy is critically low, so we need to increase our power output. Right now we only have one option for that, which would be a wind park. So let's stick no that energy, right here. No industry. At the moment, you're not providing enough. Very good. We should standardize the process. Okay. Been a while since had such an important get. Now, in order to upgrade your pops, your your workers, they have to have their needs met. So these guys need organic food, water, and information. It's currently not satisfied, so that's going to be the info dome. Um, so basically, uh, we just keep on spending biopolymer to upgrade the number of people that we have. Until we get up to 200. Then we build a bio, whatever you call it, the thing. I like how we're turning sunflowers into biopolymers, and we're using biopolymers to build houses. It seems so eco-friendly. All right, now we have 200 workers. Blueprints ready for implementation. Let's build our info dome. This only costs costs 10 10 biopolymers, so we have to wait just a little bit. Ornaments, a medium park. Small park. Beautifies your settlement. We stick that right there. 
small ornamental building. It's very pretty. That was a big shot. Well done. I don't know what that does. You can see like the people are just kind of automatically working and flying around and stuff. There's a bunch of them. All right, we got the uh, the stuff that we need to make our info dome. Now this is where it kind of reminds me of like city skylines or something where you need to you can see the roads they like light up depending on where you place it. So if we put it like really far away, it's gonna have less reach. You can see over here it's not really colored, whereas if you put it over here it does a better job. So we'll put our first info dome kind of like near the first set of houses. A broad range of information services. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. Now they're fully satisfied, so we can actually upgrade them from workers Remarkable to progress. operators. You've assembled construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. I'm amazing. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. Am I? The program demands you connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. But okay. I'm sure you have the same potential. I do feel like the game is lacking a shortcut key for roads. It's easy to sample roads and then place them down again, but... I don't know, it would just be kind of nice if... We're obviously going to have issues with power here in a moment. Now with power, if you overlap an existing wind farm, both of them will perform less efficiently, so we want to give them as little overlap as possible. Although, trying to space it perfectly is a little bit tricky. I'd like for them to be on the same axis. Warning. Energy grid overload. I'm aware. Alright, so we can copy you. We'll put you exactly like here. And then I'm wondering if we can maybe find this spot. Oh, there it is, right there. That looks so pretty. We're gonna have this whole city just like that. I'm gonna keep on finding this spot. This you. Negative credit balance will impede your progress. Probably. We need to get more income up. We're playing on, on the highest difficulty, so um, basically what my expectation my expectation is is that when you do that, you need to build slower. And I'm not really building slowly at all. Um, we're gonna upgrade as many people as we can. We're going to copy these. We need more biopolymers so that we can get more people in. Um, more people equals more money. So far we're doing fine on trucks and power. Yeah, our corporation leveled up. Company stocks advance in price. Generally it's better to upgrade existing structures than it is to just build new ones. Promotion costs two biopolymers, each one of these things. Same thing, it's two biopolymers. But you'll notice that these yeah. operators... Is there something you want? Uh, where can we, yeah, I do want something. I want you to uh, do whatever. Basic needs are fully satisfied. Advanced needs are not satisfied at all. It says click to show. Um, it's talking about this thing down here. So these guys, in order to like upgrade them again, now we need vitamin drinks, rejuvenators, neuro implants, and security. So the basic needs are met. Attention. Under provision of specific consumer goods detected. Indeed. So, inhabitants, 10 out of 25. Notice how this building went from holding 5 people to holding potentially 25 people. Things are fine here, but... And I believe that the, uh... The amount that, of income you earn from them also goes up. So we're gonna try to upgrade these as much as we can. Try to get our, our net credit balance to change. Go back to the V key. Looks like we need more... Food. It's going to take us up positive. We need some vitamin drinks. So how do we make vitamin drinks? Things for operators. It's got them sorted by the different class that they are. So we need vitamin condensers. To make vitamins, we need fruit. To make fruit, we need nothing. Each fruit plantation will create eight fruit per minute. So it looks like it's a two to one ratio. Let's just uh, throw these down. We don't have um, that red thing, that thing there. We need Constructobots. Alright. Constructobots require ceramics and cobalt. Uh, this requires mountain building sites. So we should have a couple of those up this way. Indeed we do. So we'll build a mountain building site there for that one. Mountain building site there for that one. We will copy the road. Just kind of have this come over this way. 
check power. I think we're going to have issues with power, and we do have issues with logistics now as well. So we're going to go back to... Uh, we need a transportation center. This costs biopolymers and credits, and it provides us with more trucks. So we'll put that, like, over here. And now we're having power issues again. Warning. Energy demand can no longer be met. Okay, we're up to power. Factories require additional workforce in order to operate. So we don't have enough people, apparently, to run these, these buildings. Workforce too low to meet production quota. Alright. And now, more people can't upgrade because... Of new building types possible. You have to have... I guess you have to have some workers. Like, you can't upgrade them all to operators. So now it is saying, like, we have to just build more of these. We're spending our biopolymer as fast as we can. That's good. Income is not really good. But, you know, as we get more and more people, we'll be there. Trucks are good. Power's good. Um, so we've got these things coming in. Now we need to turn them into the little robot men. Or something. These uh, constructo bots. Let's just make sure we got the right ratio. We produce 10 constructo bots per minute with 5 and 5. This produces 5. This produces 5. So it looks like we just stick one of you guys maybe like here. Good. You've gathered the components needed for the elevator. It's only showing plus only nine. The elevator cable requires special materials you can't produce. Because we have not enough power. For a delivery. Oh, fantastic. So let's get one more thing of power. I want to keep this nice little grid format going. We've got, I like this a lot. So it looks like you're going to be about there. Looks very pretty. Okay, um, so that covers power. Let's upgrade more people. We're out of biopolymer again. And now we can see Believe in our company. access to information. See, here we can see the distance from the info dome is too far away. Is finished restructuring, everything will return to the natural order. Okay, I think that's an enemy corporation. Alright, so now we can do our fruit plantation because we've got access to the uh, Constructo bots. So we'll build two fruit, fruit plantations. Hmm. Kind of over here would be fine. Let's do it like this. We'll do one. We'll put you in the center. I don't really have any specific layouts planned, but... I wonder, if we rotated this thing... I bet we could fit two. Ah, uh, it's going to be one extra tile, isn't it? Okay, well this is the right ratio. Need more power, again. Ah, uh, what? What was that all about? You have something to say? You want to say that to my face? Warning. Energy shortage. Alright. So we're doing okay here. Just need a few more people. See the R key, in my opinion, should should be roads. You do it all the time. Your technicians are ready. Start the elevator construction once all other requirements are met. Alright. My associate, John Rafferty. So we've done all that. All Select spaceport, the start the upgrade. That is over here. It's on the mini-map down there. You can see it. Select the spaceport. And we need to do this thing. We need 25 constructor bots. We have 20. So we'll just click the button. Yeah, Rafferty here. Miss Bowman assigned me to ensure the transport safety. Approaching your sector, over. Code Red. We're under attack. Code Red. Damn it. The cargo. Protect the ship. People of Earth, this is the manifesto of the moon's independence. The Global Union waged war on us for generations with weapons like falsehood, negligence, and exploitation. And the LEC, 
bowed its head in servile compliance. But not anymore. Set no foot on the land of our forefathers. We are the Orbital Watch. The moon is free. Okay. They attacked us out of nowhere, sunk all my ships, and took over the cargo. Now they're blockading the whole sector. No transports are going to make it through anymore. All right. No time to study regulations. Meet Rafferty at the coordinates transmitted. Do whatever is necessary. Okay. Very good. We should standardize the process. Okay. okay. What do you... What? what? Spaceport is <laughs> ready for development. Open the strategy map menu. Enter the crisis sector. Free the detained transporters. All right. We will do those things in the next episode. I'm going to take a short break here. Um, thank you Let's for always uh, for watching, as always, and I will see you again in the next video. If you want to show your support, feel free to click the like button and check out the stream a little bit later. This video will be going up. You know, subscribe if you want. I'm going to put up uh, NO2205 videos probably every single day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.